Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and today's video is going to be all about my October BoxyCharm, the base box. Alright beauties, if you're unfamiliar with a BoxyCharm, this is our base box for October 2020. This is a $25 monthly subscription where you'll receive five full-size products, and they range from makeup, beauty, etc. So we are going to get my little scissors and dive right on in. You guys know that I do not get any spoilers, and if anyone else posts prior to me actually getting my box and opening it, um, I don't watch. So I genuinely like to be surprised, and I have always said that BoxyCharm, in my personal opinion, is the best bang for your buck. So each month will be a particular theme. This theme says BoxyCharm Candy Shop. I'm gonna put my hand on the back so I don't see the back. On the back of the card is all of our information, pertinent information with pricing and things like that. And I do see that my version is number 74. So I'm gonna put the card to the side. First thing I see right on top is something that looks pretty damn cute. This says Hip Dot on it. We did get a Hip Dot palette last month that I really, really love. The quality of that was fantastic. So this looks like a cute little blender set. We have one for under the eye, concealer, kind of spot concealing, things like that, and then a standard one. They do feel nice and soft, yet slightly firm, like I like. So already I'm off to a good start. I'm happy. I will say this thing feels very light, though, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Next up is a Symbiosis London Hyaluronic Acid Tightening and Replendent Eye Mask. That is what that looks like. That's okay, not my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum, Hydrate and Replenish. I don't think I knew that they had this. Moisture Serum, I'm intrigued. I've heard of the other stuff. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's in kind of a like Carolina blue and white container. It is glass and it actually feels pretty heavy. Moisture Replenishing Serum. I'm really excited to try this. Apply a few drops to damp skin before creams. Use morning and night. I am very intrigued by this. I did pick up a cup, the Rose Gold Elixir thing, so I think that'll be kind of cool to use these in conjunction with one another. I am excited about that so far. Next up is a Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. I'm really excited about this, and I am obsessed with setting sprays. I actually just did my makeup, so I'm going to try it out. So, super fine mist, as y'all can tell. I don't really smell like anything at all, but it feels nice, and it actually replenished my skin and brought a little bit of life back to my skin. Okay, so far so good. And our last thing that I see, was that five things? Yes. <laughs> the last thing that I see is a pretty, vulgar, nesting, B-I-T-C-H, face, face palette. I've tried a couple things from Pretty Vulgar. Oh, that's nice. It has a little bit of a gash in it, which sucks, but it has a nice mirror. I don't feel like this is very fair skinned friendly, um, but if you have medium to deeper skin, I think it would work beautifully on you. My blush shade mirror mirror has a little bit of a mark in it. Hopefully you guys can see that. I always feel like the products that I get from Boxy, like they're tousled a lot or maybe they're just kind of thrown around. So sometimes I get a little frustrated with it. Um, I will swatch a cup. Wow. Okay. They feel really, really nice. So this is Son of a Bee, Mirror, Mirror, and Sun-Kissed Snitch. And I do already have makeup on, but I am still gonna try it real quick. I'm gonna grab my Judy brush, and I think I'm gonna go into Son of a Bee, the bronzer right here. I do like this, I do like the pan sizes. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. It is dusty as shit, I'm barely tapping. That doesn't, that doesn't usually bother me as long as it performs. It may not show up a whole, whole lot because I have so much makeup on my face. Oh, it's nice though. It's pretty. I like the texture of it as well. All right. I'm excited for this. Very, very excited for this. Okay. We'll try a little bit of blush. I'm going to go into Hush Blush, which is this one right here on top. Ooh, I like that. saturation of color is actually really nice on that. I cannot attest to obviously how long they wear on the skin, but oh, that's nice. That's really pretty. I'm going to go into Glimmer of BS right here. 
They do feel a little bit softer, kind of more powdery, if you will, but that looks really, really pretty. Let's see how it looks on the face. That didn't have hardly any kickback, and the blush didn't have a lot, but that son of a bee bronzer definitely did. Whoa, bitch! That is blinding. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, this I like. This I'm really excited to play with and try. I, I don't know if they come in different shade varieties, but I don't think this would obviously be good for someone that has very fair skin. Um, but I think it's really pretty. I actually like the kind of vintage vibes of Pretty Vulgar, kind of aesthetically overall. So let's go over some deets. I like that highlight. The highlight is crazy, yo. <laughs> so the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face Palette. The face palette offers a beautiful selection of rosy blushes, sun-kissed bronzers, and creamy glowing highlighters. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> These must-have buildable shades deliver great color payoff and blend out like a dream. They are developed for a wide range of skin tones. Okay. And perfect for contouring your face. And that is $32. I don't know that I would pay $32 for that. I guess so. I guess so. I also think if you have, you know, darker skin than myself, these shades would work beautiful. I mean, I feel like you could definitely build it up. I don't see this being fair skin friendly. So it's saying that it's developed for a wide range of skin tones. Um, I think kind of my skin tone up could definitely use this. Um, and I actually like now that I'm kind of seeing this in the reflection over here, it has like a little bit of like a gold shift to it. So that's really, really pretty. All right, y'all. I'm excited. Let me pop some right. <laughs> Oh no, I look like a baby doll. No, no. Let, hold on, these. <laughs> That's pretty though. Dang. Yeah, I'm excited to play with this. I like it. I will be using that. The Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. Prepare to be obsessed with this ultra fine vegan super fruit setting mist that effortlessly refreshes skin and sets your makeup for 12 hours with a natural radiant finish. I do agree with that. It was very fine. I don't smell fruit. I don't smell anything in it at all. Um, and that is $23. I feel like that's pretty standard for that type of product. The Farsali Privé Quench, a serum that helps to replenish moisture with a unique complex of low and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. The staggered molecular weights of the hyaluronic acid are designed to help promote multi-depth hydration on both the skin surface and in the epidermis. Enriched with replenishing provitamin B5, the skin's elasticity appears improved as well as feeling and looking softer than before. And that is $24. I feel like that's cheap for Farsali. I want to say like the full size things are more than 30 something dollars. Okay, but I, I'm excited to try it. Next up was our Symbiosis London Tightening and Resplendent Eye Mask, a revolutionary innovation in the beauty market in the form of an eye mask in cream to tighten, rejuvenate, and brighten the delicate eye area. This eye mask is fortified with hyaluronic acid, pololin, as well as shea butter, and works to visibly reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. And it's $93. Look, I think better smack my ass and call me purdy, honey. Okay, that it better be good. I will try it. I will see what it's all about. Next up was the Hip Dot Color Changing Sponge Duo. Cool. Enjoy an amazing color changing sponge. Watch it expand to twice the size when wet, and it creates buildable makeup application with minimal product waste. And it is eighteen dollars. Um, I'm gonna go wet one real quick, and I want to see how big it is and see the color change. So BRB. All right, beauties, we are back. It did get <laughs> substantially larger. Um, I kept the little one like it is. Other than this being slightly more dark pink, it didn't really change a whole lot. I don't know if maybe it's just to use warm water. I always use cool water when I do my sponges. Um, but it changed a little bit. And I can tell you that it feels super soft and feels really, really nice. I am excited to try this out. Again, I will keep y'all posted too. Like if I happen to use warm water or something like that and I see a difference in the color, but it feels really nice. It is the texture that I personally like. As far as it being soft, but still having like a little bit of density to it. Oh, I'm excited to use this and I love the size of it as well. It feels really nice. So, okay, and I definitely, I think this is my favorite thing of everything. Um, the spray is just okay, nothing to write home about. It's not revolutionary or anything like that. Do I feel like it did refresh the skin and kind of bring forth a little bit of hydration? Yes. 
Um, this, that's asinine that it costs this much, so it better work. We'll try it out and see. Um, and I'm really excited and intrigued about this Farsali Quench. Um, yeah, I think overall I like everything. Is it the best box we've had? No, I've definitely had boxes that I was, you know, super excited about every single product in it. But do I still feel like I got my $25 worth? Absolutely. Like, I really, really like the sponges a whole, whole lot. So that is it, beauties. Let me know what variation you got. What was your favorite product in this box? And what was your least favorite product in this box? I appreciate you taking the time to come and watch. Please don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you know when I upload future videos. And be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.